like I assume million of them. I wanna lock in your love. I think we're close enough. Could I lock in your love, baby? I feel we're close. And Jimmy got stung by the jellyfish. Good morning. Good morning. So we're back on the uh, fast or the slow ferry. We're going from Dumaguete to Cebu again today. So it's 4:30 in the morning. We just got done editing at what 1:30 this 1 morning. 1:30. Today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna go swimming. Salamanders? Salamanders, like thousands of them. Sardines. Sardines. Salamander is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun today. But they, they like overloaded this boat today. The ferry is slam packed full of trucks and cars. Yeah. And the guy even thought that I lied about like having the ticket. He thought that they like <laughs> I had an old ticket and because I was trying to get on the really, boat. really packed. Because it's so packed. We'll show you right now. So we just got here, we got off the boat here at uh, the port uh, at the bottom of Cebu and now we're off to Maubo. So we're going to go, the location I have is right on the beach there at uh, Sequest Dive Center. So basically, as far as I know, just go to the beach, you can grab snorkel gear and hop in the water, hopefully. So we don't want to pay for the tour because the tour is a little... It's like 1,100 pesos. It's um, one hour, 28 minutes. So it's an hour and 28 minutes from the Lilo, southern tip Lilo of Cebu. An, from Lilo One. Oh, that it does um, 30 minutes drive and I was like keep falling asleep because last night I slept only like about an hour. And also, I'm really, really hungry, so we stopped by around here. Like, there's some little house, little boats. We're just gonna eat. We're just gonna eat here. Panasama a Moao Bao where I will plug it in here. <laughs> Moao Bao. <laughs> what? It's no, I was just gonna say it's really easy. Like all you gotta do is go to the town and then there's a giant sign that says Sequest Sequest Dive Center. And if you drive to the beach, you just ask for a snorkel and then you can buy a snorkel. Sorry. Just hit my face. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, right now we can't just really get in the sea right away and try to swim with the sardine because we have a big issue right now. We don't know where to put our bag. Here, how about this? Because there is camera and stuff. This is what I thought about. I don't know why I didn't think about this right now. Put the camera away. And? And give me the camera and give me that backpack or that bag with all the important in it and I'm gonna lock it in the motorbike. That's what I thought about last night. <laughs> Why are we just... <laughs> and then we'll leave the clothes on the beach because who cares if we lose our clothes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, we will switch to the GoPro and gonna leave this camera, um, this vlog camera in under the motorbike. I 
The best part about Marlboro sardines is that you don't have to strap on a tank to be able to swim with them. The school of a million strong typically stay a short swim away from the dive shops located at Marlboro Beach. It is unclear why the sardines stick around year round, but the best months to swim with them are normally from November to April, which are also high season due to the weather being so nice. by the jellyfish but how was it is it still hurt it's no it's not bad it just itches a little bit it's pretty cool because as you snorkel over the reef right as it drops off there's a bunch of fishing boats uh. and that's where all the sardines are now the government restricted net fishing here because there's so many sardines and because it brings in so much money from the tourists wanting to swim with them. Yeah. You, the fishermen can still fish with a line and a hook, but only enough to provide for their family. So... Must seem like they have stayed there forever. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know who's regulating it, but... <laughs> yeah, but it's a really cool experience there. Like, I have so million of them. So many of them. It's such a rude. They're jumping it's, out it's of the water. It's such a fun experience. Yes, and there was so many, they would jump like on the surface of the water and it's insane. So, we grabbed the coffee, both of us, and this is the second cup of coffee. And then we're gonna head to the waterfall. Jimmy has like six waterfalls on the plan, on the list. And now it's only eight. So I think within one day, we can eat all of them. Easy. 